I may sound slightly nasal during this video as I'm recovering from a really monstrous, horrible cold. Just the common cold, but it took me down. Basically this video is to chat about NaNoWriMo, which is fastly approaching. Check out my Insta. My Insta is the British reader, if anyone wants to follow me. It's not very good. It's just random books, pictures of books. Some people have these bookstagrams and they are just the prettiest things we've ever seen. I think you have to have some sort of flair or something. I don't have the flair. Anyway, this video is basically documenting what I've done, you know, over the last, I don't know, it's only been about a week that I've been prepping actually for NaNo. I think some people start prepping in like December of last year, but not me. <laughs> just, you know, just no, not me, not that organised. I mean, this is quite impressive for me, to be honest, to be doing any sort of preparation for a piece of work that I'm going to be doing, writing, whatever so I don't feel too bad about it. I'm going to also film and upload some videos during NaNoWriMo so I can see for myself in the future, you know, my progress and it's just fun to look at old videos, you know, of what you're doing. What I've done so far is I've been basically watching a hundred zillion videos from other people from last year or this year and learning how to prep for Nano. Usually, okay, so this is my third year doing Nano and I have, did not win the first and second year. I literally got like 8,000 words in 2014 and then I think something like 12,000 last year. <sighs> yeah. What happens is I'm so busy and I know like everyone's busy or whatever. I'm not as good at being extra busy as everyone else. This is my theory anyway. So I would come home from work and I would try and strive for that 1,667 I think it is. And I'd get to like a thousand or a thousand one hundred and it wasn't so bad at the beginning of the month but then as you get somewhere near the middle and you see that your word count is literally like a quarter instead of a halfway toward the 50,000. It's very discouraging and when I get discouraged I probably usually just give up but this year I've got a plan it's not a very good plan I'm gonna list a few things actually probably probably maybe to help some people that are on the same wavelength of laziness and disorganize a disorganization is the word I shouldn't be questioning words if I want to be a writer disorganization I actually don't know if that's a word. I'm too ill to even consider if that's a word. Number one, I've downloaded the free trial of Scrivener because I wanted some sort of stability with my writing this year. I'm basically just trying anything to hope that I get through the 30 days. I don't even really care about getting to the 50,000. Just to write consistently for 30 days would be pretty good. I mean, I've been playing around in it. I've been, you know, learning how to use it basically. And it, it's good. I like it it's very organized. There's something on there called word count or something, word goal, but basically you, I think you put a little word count goal for the session that you're writing in, aka like each day of nano I guess, and yeah I'm gonna do that. I think it would just give me more direction and more motivation to actually get those words typed onto my computer. I have a laptop, not a computer. Number two, relating to the whole word count thing, I'm going to, instead of aim for the 1667 words a day, probably write significantly less than that in the week, maybe like a thousand or less, and then I'm going to add the rest of those words and put them into my weekend writing. So instead of writing the like 3000 whatever it is that I need to write at the weekend, I'll be writing, I don't know, probably double that. That's okay because I'll have time to do that. Whereas in the week, I don't have time to do that. So yeah, I think that's just something to consider if you're like me and you have a five day a week job, half eight to half six. And also if you're maybe a mum and it's practically the same sort of hours or more that you're, you know, caring for kids or a dad, 
if you're a stay-at-home dad or something. Number three, I'm actually planning this year. So usually I'm basically the one that doesn't plan, I just go straight in, I have a slight idea in my head of where I'm going with it, and that's just it. This year, because that was never successful for me, I have decided to actually have some sort of outline. I've been watching a lot of other people's nano videos this year, which I hadn't really done before because, like I said, I just went sort of straight into it. I found them really useful. I've actually sort of watched the majority of videos on outlining because I think, regardless of nano, I need to obviously know that to get the correct structure and I actually like cannot even speak right now. <coughs> H2O. The majority of videos that I've watched have been around outlining. Um, others have just been like tips and sort of tricks and plans for their own, that person's Zellerimo experience. And that's obviously sort of what I'm doing here. I basically have begun outlining. I haven't got very far. I'm going to carry on after this video. I think it's just going to give me sort of a really good basis to go off. Um, I'm not going to do it really, really in depth because I just don't think I have the time. But I'm going to get all of my main points down, you know, the ideas of the story. Because to be honest, I actually don't know the end of my story. I know, like, what I want to happen, but I have no idea how I'm going to get there. So, yeah. Number four. I'm going to be more active in the community. I advise everybody to join your region on nanorimo.org. Um, the website because you can just meet people in your area you might even be able to meet up with people which would be really fun especially if you know you know no writers or no book readers uh, like me <gasps> great and also last year I got slightly involved in it and they I think it was in my region I can't actually remember I don't know I think in my region we did sort of like a word sprints and stuff I might even be wrong on that maybe that was the nano YouTube channel. The Nano YouTube channel is really good because you can put it on like your screen while you've, or in the background sorry, because you'll be using your screen, and then they do word sprints and you basically can comment and it's just really good. So I'd follow Nano YouTube channel. Number five. Something that really held me back in Nano 14 and Nano 15 was that I was too precise with my writing. So I'd go back and I'd basically be editing it at the same time and I didn't actually know I was doing anything wrong. I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to writing so I don't want to see my writing looking bad even though I know now it should be bad first drafts can be like from as average to terrible as you want it to be basically so I'm just going to have to remind myself constantly that it's okay I'm going to have to just give myself support it's okay Emily I know this upsets you but you just have to work through it and I'm going to work through it I'm going to see those mistakes I'm just going to not care I'm gonna try. I should be able to write hopefully uh, double as fast as I did last year because I won't be going over old work. So that's basically the update. I'm going to be uploading probably, hopefully quite a few sort of vlogs like this sort of thing, just like talking to the camera about it to give updates again for just documentation purposes and also so I can, you know, be a part of the nano community on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you all probably on the 1st of November, maybe before, I don't know. Bye.